Hey everybody, what's up? It's Dunbar Snack Bar here with another game of NCAA Football 2012. And you can tell that from seeing Arizona here that I'm at the college level. So that means that I've taken everything into consideration, taken the look at the votes, and decided to go with what you guys wanted to see, which means that Jeff Reynolds will be playing quarterback for Oregon. So you'll be seeing, of course, a lot more Oregon videos on here, and I think that that's going to be pretty sweet because I think that the way that I play football and the way that Oregon plays football I think it's going to be a great match all around. Now, Jeff Reynolds has developed into be a great dual threat quarterback. Um, and so I think that just overall, I think offensively, we'll be able to put a lot of great things together, especially as Jeff Reynolds develops. Now, we are in week four of the first season of Road to Glory here. Uh, I had to start off as second string, but I'd done a great job working my way up uh, to the starting position. I did have a battle for the starting position at quarterback. Uh, right before this game and I decided not to show it because it's basically just a glorified practice and I'm sure you didn't want to see that uh, me doing plays over and over and over again uh, like in the practice setting but I'm glad that I'm uh, starting here and I think I may be able to turn Oregon around here because you can see we're ranked 25th we're one and two on the year and I think that overall that's just very disappointing the only win we've had was to an FCS school and so really not too much that you know has been working all around one of the biggest difficulties I think Oregon has had uh, so far this season is the defense uh, when you take a look at the amount of points that opposing teams have been able to score against Oregon it's pretty high and the offense really hadn't produced that much um, so maybe I'll be able to turn things around but one of the things that I've noticed here of course are some very fundamental differences than what I've seen in Road to Glory before and of course some very big differences between the high school level and also college as well I mean that kinda goes without saying because you're playing against some more difficult teams and you also are restricted a lot more into what you can do and for those of you who haven't had a chance to be able to play Road to Glory yet as a quarterback I mean I definitely recommend doing it but I think very early on there's some very big frustrations uh, one of the things is you have to run the play that's called and I can understand that and everything like that but at the same time you cannot call any kind of audibles and I think that is pretty counterintuitive because when you think about it you definitely want to be able to trust your quarterback to be able to see what's going on with the defense and to make adjustments to the offense accordingly so there are a number of plays that take place in this game and probably future games as well where uh, the play that's called may be the worst possible play that could be called and there's nothing that I can do about it so in one of the games, I'll kind of spoil this for you a little bit down the road. It'll be third and 15, and I have to hand the ball off to my running back to go just right up the middle with it. And it seems like the defense knows what's coming because they're set up for a blitz, and I have to run it. And so that means that, you know, we're forced to punt, and we don't get points on the board, and, you know, it, it hurts us, you know, pretty much. So, you know, I can't change plays or anything like that. Originally in high school, I would just change the plays and call audibles just to make myself look better, rack up some of those stats on the board, but here I can't do that. And in college, I'm not necessarily wanting to rack up stats quite yet because I know as a freshman, there's really not too much that I can do, um, you know, or too many awards that I can win, but I would like to see that. So at least we got a touchdown here uh, before the half, minute 38, of course, that you can see. And then when Arizona gets the ball, they end up going uh, three and out pretty quick so I have a chance to be able to put something together I probably wouldn't have called an option but I'm pretty lucky that I'm able to get a lot of good yards off of that that was a pretty sweet uh, pass to the halfback there just at the last second and uh, I think I've gotten pretty good at some of the option plays here now just because of what I've been able to do in high school so we're able to score again here on another rush this time up the middle though and so those two quick two quick scores were absolutely pivotal I think to this game as a whole because I was getting pretty frustrated. We were down 14 to nothing. Uh, nothing that we can do here. And Arizona, I don't know how, but they get a field goal with just those few seconds left. So you can tell that the Oregon defense really is doing a terrible job in this game. I thought that I was going to come away with an easy win against Arizona. When you were taking a look at some of the attributes and things like that for each one of the teams, it definitely seems like uh, that I, as Oregon, am favored to be Arizona and definitely looks like that this is going to be tough going the rest of the way and with me being restrained as much as I can from being able to command the offense effectively I think there's a pretty high chance we come out with another loss and if that's the case 
I will not be too happy. One of the things that have been frustrating me too here as well is my team. Uh, it seems like my teammates are just all not together there. Um, and in this case, neither am I here by throwing an interception. But it's just pretty difficult going back to play calling here real quick. You know, when it's third and long and it's an obvious passing situation, you know, I can't change the hot routes. Um, I've got to go to who I think is open. And in this case, I know it was just my mental mistake. But uh, there's really not too much that, you know, I could have changed or anything like that. You know, all the receivers looked like they were covered. I could have thrown to the receiver a little bit earlier. But anyway, uh, that ends up hurting us pretty bad, too, as Arizona gets a touchdown off of it. So once again, the defense just does not come through for me. Uh, but going back to the team here, just is probably my biggest frustration overall is it seems like I am the only person that's really doing their job. And what I mean by that is there's been so many passes where I throw it to the wide receiver who's open, who is, you know, past the first down marker, and it just goes ahead and just hits them right in the head or it hits them in the body or they don't even try to go for it. And that's something that could have opened up, you know, a big play like you're seeing right here or put me in a chance not to have to punt because, you know, I got the first down and, and everything like that. So wide receivers has been a major uh, frustration for me and also the running back as well. It doesn't matter who's in. It seems like the, whatever they do is pretty dumb. Like, okay, right there. That was a great example of the wide receiver just not going for something. Jeff Reynolds is a pretty accurate quarterback. I was able to get a lot of uh, passing attributes uh, before this game, just buying them as those bonuses. And then also uh, in high school, I got a lot of yards. So I, they kind of gave me those uh, those attributes. So it's not like it's bad passing. It's just you know, the other team or my my team not doing what they're supposed to do in the computer, just failing to do its job and to help me out. So with the running backs too, I mean, you've seen that the running backs have done a great job so far this game, you know, all around. But there have been some plays where there's obviously a wide open hole ahead of them. And in the end, they just go run right on into the defense. And so I'm there with, you know, a loss of yards or maybe just a one or two yard gain on something that I should have gotten like five or six yards on. So I can't wait till I get to call audibles because I'm basically going to keep it away from the uh, computer as much as I can and you know give the ball to myself or, or be able to throw uh, a lot more than i have been able to so i can't wait for those changes to come uh, that was a pretty sweet pass to the halfback there at the last second uh, for this option i got destroyed on this one but i'm gonna stop uh kind of complaining about everything here i kind of feel like this has turned into a rant video more than anything else um definitely the game is not going my way you can see 31 to 17 but I kind of promised myself that I wouldn't do a rant video. Hopefully you guys can understand the frustration here. And if you guys have been able to play Road to Glory um, as a quarterback, you guys kind of know this here. So this was a good rush here uh, for a lot of yards on fourth down. So I was able to convert at this point. And I'm going to try to do that a lot more. That's kind of one of the reasons I wanted to make Jeff Reynolds an option quarterback in high school was to be able to have uh, the kind of legs where I can get a lot of yards on the ground. And, uh, I've noticed that the computer does a great job of being able to run from inside the pocket, be able to get a lot of yards. So I may try to do that as well, uh, going up against you know a computer that you know is doing uh, doing the same thing to me here. But time is running down here. We're going to see what I can do. I would not have called a quarterback rush right up the middle here when you're this close to the goal line because they're obviously set up uh, for a you know uh, for a rush here. So that was just my fault here. I could have gone to one of the receivers, but um, at this point, I really wasn't trusting of any of my receivers to be able to catch the ball. Too many times I tried to go into them, and they didn't make it, and I ended up getting injured uh, for that. So I sit out the rest of the game. Arizona ends up winning this one, so I am pretty frustrated at how this game has gone. Going with another loss, we are now 1-3, and three, and I'm going to have to turn things around. Granted, this was my very first game as a quarterback in college, but... I think I should have come away with the win here. And that interception ends up being play of the game. Not cool. But hopefully there will be some more positive videos coming out of Road to Glory here pretty soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. As much as I've complained, I did enjoy playing the game. Um, feel free to like uh, the video if you did like it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. I'll kind of go more into that here a little bit later. 
But I appreciate you guys watching. It means a lot. And as always, 